Hey everybody, today on Henry's How To's, I'm going to show you how to make Moroccan lamb backstrap. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so what I've got in front of me here is one kilo of lamb backstrap. Which I've just seen long pieces like so. So the first thing we need to do with our backstrap is make sure it's clean. So, check a, any excess pieces of fat and sinew like this, you just want to trim it straight off. We don't need that. And then all we're going to do is just cut these into small pieces. Just like that. Just like rectangles. And then we're going to place these straight into a bowl. Now repeat the same with the other one as well. Now we're going to bring across one brown onion. Slice through the middle. Through the middle again. We just want to very coarsely chop this, add it straight to our meat. Now we'll start by adding in one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of ground cumin, one tablespoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter cup of chopped parsley, a quarter cup of chopped coriander, about three crushed garlic cloves, about two tablespoons of olive oil and finally about one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice so all we need to do now is just mix this with our meat get it nice and well coated and well combined once it's well coated we'll just cover it with some cling wrap and this goes straight into the fridge we want to leave this overnight let all those flavors develop and we'll come back tomorrow and cook it. Alright guys, so it's been one day now, so I'm going to grill these. So I'm going to char grill these on my grill. We're just going to use a medium to high heat. Don't go too high because we don't want to burn it. And we'll stop by placing our back straps straight on. So depending on your heat, this should take only about 5-6 minutes to cook. We only want to cook it to about medium. Don't go well done because you're just destroying it. And just like a steak, we only want to flip these once. So after about 3 minutes, we're going to go ahead and start to flip these. So we'll start with the smaller pieces first. And we'll let it cook on this side until it's cooked all the way through. So guys, to determine if it's cooked, all you want to do is just touch it. Based on how firm or how soft it is, you'll get an idea how it's cooked all the way through. Now for example, these pieces here, they are still quite soft. So we're looking at about medium rare here. Same with this one. This one here is about medium, so what I'm going to do is take that off and just place it into a tray here. You want to let these rest. When they do rest, they still are hot, so they are still going to cook a little bit. So don't overcook it here. Alright guys, so after you've let them rest, we're going to go ahead and start to slice. So all we want to do is just cut thin slices like so. Not too thick. And just have a look at that. And there we have it guys. So I've just cooked it all off to medium, medium rare. And simple as that, this goes perfect on its own. Perfect in sandwiches, with rice, with salad, whatever you like. I hope you like that guys. Please like and subscribe. Got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.